Welcome to the six months later challenge. We have spawned somewhere completely random and someone is screaming in the background. Let's see where we spawn. We spawned uh, all the way west on the middle of nowhere. Uh, but we are six months later with uh, very little loot. As you can see this house has literally nothing besides a magazine. We did uh, spawn deprived with the more trades mod. We have literally nothing. Well, our first priority is going to be getting some clothes. There's some zombies down there. And a garbage bag not be, might not be a bad idea. <laughs> There's a zombie in there. I'm going to grab this garbage bag just uh, in case we need the room. There's a zombie coming for us. Quickly kill this one as he jumps. One's dead. This one has a knife. That's what I didn't want to happen. Okay, we should be good. I need shoes as my first priority. Shoes. Okay, this one has sneakers. I'd rather have sneakers. These clothes aren't the greatest, but um, here we'll wear this one because there's no holes. But uh, it's better than nothing. We need some pants. I guess we'll wear the denim. Because the other ones have holes all in them. This little house right here wouldn't be terrible. Uh, if you're noticing all the planks and stuff on the windows, we there's a mod for um it adds barricades to windows and doors because of erosion. So that zombie is completely stuck. Um so the longer you survive into an apocalypse, the more barricaded the doors and stuff are. And since we're six months in, basically everything is barricaded. Zombie in here. Oh, but this is a survivor home. Okay. That's just lucky. So we have some really good weapons already. Baseball helmet. Huh? Nothing else in here? Nope. Check out. Zombie almost got me. Alright, we got some company out front. Now that we have some actual weapons, this is not going to be a problem. A digital watch, perfect. Ah, uh, too bad that jacket is all messed up. Uh, we're just going to leave that zombie. Why not? Uh, there's a couple, there's another house down here. There are quite a few zombies. This has actual jeans, we'll take those. A denim shirt. Wear the jeans. Some scissors, I'll take that. Be dealt with. Right, we can head up to the gas station see if there's any cars. That's quite a word on the uh, main road. Keep it moving here. 
This is quite a few zombies. Way more than I thought. Hmm. Yeah, this is quite a few more zombies than I thought. Quite a few. We're gonna try to get them around this house and uh, lose as many as we can. Break up the board. Some zombies dispatched. There's still some more around here, but I really just want to loot and scoop. Some flower seeds? Okay, not good. Chocolate? Okay, that's pretty good. Calories. Uh, sodi pop? More junk food. Even more junk food. And a soda, okay. My character is still 360, causing the animals to get hit. There's some weird pathing issue on that door, but we're good. Friends wanted a piece. Uh, even more candy. I right, will not much in the gas station, but we did get some food. Actually, do we check the uh, magazines? Okay. Well, we can go check the back of the diner. We are getting a little hungry. I just eat the sunflower seeds. Uh, rotten food. Be expected. Nothing back here. I'm going to drink the soda and fill it with water. So now we just have some water. We can head across the road to another house. If there's no cars, we're gonna have to walk. Somewhere, anywhere really. There's quite a few zombies again. I'm gonna just try to. I'm not gonna fight anything. I'm gonna just ditch them in the in this forest here. Too bad those cars look absolutely destroyed. I guess a couple zombies following us, but as a sheriff. I'll take a boat go fast. Zombies dealt with. Where this is a bulletproof vest, it'll give us some warmth. There's a giant hole in the back. Nice canned food. Take that. Yep. Empty gun case. Quite a few zombies banging on the back door, so we'll just go out the window. 
I'm gonna sit in here for a second. I'm gonna move all the food into our bag. Okay, we're no longer overweight. So there are two more houses, and then we're kinda done here. Just looking, we could head down, follow this trail down. One problem I'm worried about is uh, any zombies we encounter on the way. But uh, it's 4 p.m., so we're not gonna leave today. We'll have to leave in the morning. Which means we need somewhere to sleep. So I guess we're gonna sleep here, but we need to clear these zombies first. I guess we'll sleep in this room because it has a door and an intact window. Uh, we're just, I'm gonna go around the uh, outside of the house and make sure we're all clear. Alright, our machete is pretty low health, but not the end of the world. I'm gonna drop our bag in here. And let's, I'm gonna scout out that other building. Just cause we got a couple hours left of daylight. Not much, but that worked too. And the problem was, there was a, a lot of zombies in this uh, area over here. Yeah, here's the house here. Okay, the back door is barricaded. Oh man, that's quite a few zombies. Oh, that's a gun store or something? I'm not sure. All the, all the zombies are trapped in there, so not really a big deal. Oh, that zombie's a spear. I will slowly try to drag some zombies off, kill them on my own. Spear will be really useful. Okay, front cleared. I do hear some zombies in the back. Okay, this is a pistol with some ammo. I think it's gonna be a common problem though, is uh, we might find one thing, but probably not the other. Okay, here we go. Now we got some ammo. Or two of the guns. Well, technically all of them, but... A little Tommy gun and... The Groza. And ammo for both of them, so we'll take that. Do they have magazines? Contains magazines, contain magazines. Perfect. It was the other gun in the back was a Groza, so I'm gonna go check if that has a magazine, and if so, we can take that. Yeah, here we go. Alice pack. We're pretty set on weapons now. This was uh, really lucky, actually. We're out of here. No need to stay. I'm gonna see if there's any water left in here. There is. I'm gonna clean this bandage and fill up our water bottles. When that bandage gets dirty, we can replace it now with a good one. Put one of the water bottles in our bag. And, uh,. See you guys in the morning. And it is morning. Um, very early in the morning, but morning nonetheless. We are a bit uh, cold. Put the uh, denim shirt on. Uh, so for the plan for today, we've basically gone everywhere. I'm gonna double check um, that gun store area. If there's no car, then gonna have to go south to these uh, rural areas down here uh, maybe stopping at this little camping area um, that's really our only option unless we go up north um, but yeah we have a long couple days ahead of us so there are no vehicles but we have not checked inside this building yet Camping tent, that'd be pretty nice. The ghillie suit. Thing. The fishing net, I'm, I think I'm going to take that. A tent kit, and that's what I wanted. I was going to take the front ones, but... I'm just going to quickly read this book to uh, put down on weight. One of the zombies did break in, though. Zombies dealt with. I'm gonna quickly read these. Read this book. 
And there we go. Yeah, so there are just no vehicles. Looks like we're just gonna have to head south. We do have a tent. So we can sleep in the woods if we have to. I think I want to go to this little camping area over here and uh, set up a little base. And that would be very interesting. I've never really been over to that lake before. I think I have maybe once, but never really been there. So we're on the road going south. Um, just gonna walk and beat up and ignore the zombies where we can. I'll see you guys at the lake. We are at the lodge. Found a nice uh, travel pack in this counter. I'm gonna head out back. On my boss side, actually. Alright, there's a couple of zombies in this area. I definitely want to clean it up and stay here for the night. Let's get clear. Alright, zombies have been mostly killed, at least the one I can see. Let's uh, clear this house, it's getting late. We're gonna clear this uh, little lodge area, see if we can secure a bed for the night, and then sleep and continue exploring. Alright, lodge is cleared. I'm gonna get something to cover this window, maybe. Hopefully. It's only 8 p.m., but uh, character is pretty tired. And uh, it's pretty dark, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and go to bed. In the morning, I might run down to the lake and explore. Because there are quite a few buildings over here. I believe they're cabins, uh, but I can't, I can't quite remember. Um, there, there's probably not going to be a vehicle, which is what we really want. Um, which we're going to have to head farther south to find, but an adventure in this adventure. But I think we're going to cut the episode here, and then next episode, go exploring, see what we can find, and then head farther south. I will see you then.